Okay, so you follow the previous tutorial about how to connect the, uh, the asset to your character here. So you go right here, everything seems to be working, you got your character, you got your model, and like... Wait, what the fuck? Kids Art! Hello fellow Kitsunis, my name is Kids Art. So, um... Yeah, so if you followed the previous tutorial that I made before about attaching a prop to your VTuber, um, if you created the model yourself, you might run into this problem right here which is pretty much your model is not looking correct, it's not looking right, like it's looking here in Blender. So what's happening is that the faces are looking the other way instead of outside. So it's kind of like when you play video games, you rotate the camera and you look like behind an object, it sometimes turns like invisible. Like sort of like turning that, um, that wall off so you can look at that character and keep playing the game. So yeah, it's, it's sort of like that. So. Alright, so what you can do here is go to overlays, you go to face orientation, and you can see what the problem is right here. So we are in, co in color mode right here, and um, so you can see that there's like some red spots right here. Even your avatar may have some red spots because they're not like necessary <laughs> to to have. So I mean, you're not gonna look through here. But the sword right here, the red spots are the faces that are actually facing inside the model. They're not facing outside. So it's pretty much the color is not showing because of that. So what you can do here is click the model, uh, press tab or go up here and select edit mode. Go to wireframe and select the entire model, all the vertices. And you go to mesh, go to normals and you want to recalculate outside. If you do inside, the entire model is going to be red, so you don't want that. You want to make the recalculations be outside, and then that will make your model blue. So I mean, everything will be facing outside now, so they should fix the problem, especially if you're exporting the model to Unity or to Unreal Engine, because those programs will have the same problem as the VTuber programs that we all use to do VTube. So now we can check this out on VC face. Okay, so you exported your character as a BRM. You open it in VC face with a prop, and you can see that he's right there. The sword is right there. It's not damaged. Everything looks fine. You can see everything perfectly well. It looks really solid. And yeah, it even reflects a bit of light because you added a met metallic color to it. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all you have to do if you run into this problem. This is something I struggled to search for when I first made the Master Sword. If you made the sword and added the prop to your model, you may run into this issue as it will be a common thing that happens when you create characters and other kinds of props. So, you'll be using backface culling technique a lot. Um, no one was really showing this either. I only found one video of this. And this works not only for VTuber props, but also for making your own video games in Unity, in Unity and Unreal Engine. So it's actually a common technique that you'll be using a lot for many kinds of programs. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful to you, you can help others be aware of this short tutorial by poking that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends, feel free to follow me in my other social media, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves guys, see you later!